International Cricket Stadium. We're here for the match uh, between Bangladesh and Sri Lanka in the Dutch Bangla Bank series. And this is moving day, day three of the test match. And it's a lovely day here in Sylhet. 211, the Sri Lankan lead uh, as we see the umpires. Then uh, they'll be hoping to wrap this innings as quickly as possible. Uh, Nahid Rana, I thought, bowled beautifully. He looked a different bowler in that uh, spell that he bowled. He bowled quick. Vishwa Fernando, the night watcher, and uh, Dhananjaya De Silva are the un Sri Lanka 280 in the first innings. Dhananjaya De Silva, who's unbeaten now at 23, he got 100. So did come into. They should be sitting comfortable, but they know that uh, there's so much time left. Uh, already 25 wickets in the first two days. He hasn't bowled many overs. Of 40. It is massive in the context of the game. What was important was those two batters. That was off the middle of the bat onto the pad. You mean tomorrow? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Arthur. <laughs> Third day. Again, down the wicket. And he goes past that fielder. Well, you've got to be positive from the word go. He saw that spin. He immediately decided if he's going to sit on the crease, he'll be letting Taijul dictate terms. Game is about runs. Straight down the ground, but it's aerial. He got it away from Shoriful Bat. The bowler's in the game. He's got to. Re he's uh, pulling a good line. That's taken. Yes, very good catch. It's once again, it's Medias and Miraj. He's uh, taken some very good ones. We're still hanging on, just waiting whether it has carried or not. And it went straight down. How about that? Litton Das just gave the slips a poke to move in. If you've got, you got anything that shows the ball on the ground, I've got nothing that shows the ball on the ground at the moment. That's the best you have. Thank you. Okay, I've made my decision. That is a very good catch. Excellent catch from Medias and Miraj. Not an easy one, but finally, Bangladesh have picked up an early wicket. It's the night watcher, Vishwa Fernando, gone for four. Caught against Bangladesh. Short, not the right uh, line and length, and it's been put away. Uh, good attempt, but goes in vain. Nicely ride, riding the bounce, got on top of it. I just feel Dananje De Silva will change gears now. Last recognized pair together where they were successful. It was the counter attack. Well, a lot of rain. The top order. Oh, nearly dragged it in. Runs it is. They will accumulate. Shot pulled away. Catch it is the call, but no. Goes into the gap and Medias and Mirat signals. It goes for a boundary. Uh, applause from most of the feelers of Bangladesh. I thought that was a good delivery. The bounce was right on the money, maybe not the height. Near the maker's name in the bat. Most importantly for Dhananjay Dissila, he found the gap. Medias and Mirat is quite fine at square leg. And square leg field up, had no chance as well as fine leg. Risky but effective for Sri Lanka. Down the leg side, flicked away by Dhananjay. Good work in the deep by Khaled Ahmed. He will get a couple. Bowling wayward, I think, Shoiful Islam. He was on the shorter side. Dhananjay De Silva just opens the blade and gets a single, gets to another 50. Keeps on compiling them, particularly against Bangladesh. 14th test half century for Dhananjay De Silva. He's gone on to convert and get on to hundreds. Oh, four. Edge, but the slips are wider. Now that's earning your luck because they've now built a partnership. The field has been spread. So Shanto has to take those slips away. The edge comes and it goes for four. Well, I thought he, he had some sort of a control over that shot. Maybe that uh, it was uh, deliberately played and he maybe he realized there was that gap in the slips 
give him credit for that. The frustration. Yeah, hard to get those slips in place. It's the only thing you can say. Backs away. Doesn't make contact. And that is a decent over. 166 for six. Eases into that shot, and that is the area that I was talking about. It's against the wind, the shot, but it's going to get him four runs. Superb shot. Just waiting for the bowler to come into his zone. We saw plenty of these in the first innings. Just leans into it and doesn't bother to run. He knows he's hit it so, so well. He's been playing against his instincts. It's a different type of innings coming to Mendes. It's so heartening when you see a player adjusting to the requirements, not reeling to do his normal thing and being more proactive, adjusting to, to the manner in which the game has moved on. It'll get easier because bowlers will struggle to hit the deck and there will be a few more scoring opportunities. Very, very good point there. Sometimes... It is supposedly a five-day match, so if you... Well, that's a lovely use of the feet. What about that? Shimmy down to the pitch of the ball. Full flourish of the bat and four runs. 52 overs done. It's 182 for six. He comes at it all of a sudden. Surprised the bowler. But he knew where he wanted to go. That's where he adjusts his body. Oh, take that. Short pitched and got the punishment it deserved. Now he is definitely tiring here. Deep square leg in place, but he takes him on and gets it away from him. It's a shot that he likes to play. His, it's a shot that he's played with authority even in that first innings. The runs have started to flow. 278, the lead. Another chance, swivel around. And straight away, two fine leg for another one. Brilliant. Now they've got the lead over that first inning score. He got inside the line and played that fine. This is very, very good awareness and control from Mendis. And the angle of the bat also suggests that he's hitting the back of the ball. Ah, he's drifting all over the place. He's trying too many things. The young man has gone to his head. This is a learning curve. There will be periods of play for... Strange position. <laughs> he knew it was coming. He knew the short one was coming and he slaps it past the ball. And now shots like this will really hurt. It does. It tells you that I'm ready for you. Can read the mind of the bowler. Can see the field set. What it does is uh, what I call a strapple. The straight pull goes down the ground. Terrific shot. Told you he reads the game well. With the field that set, he will struggle to pitch it up. Double whammy, maybe. Of the release point of the batters. And deciding that I'm going to go and have a swing at that one. And help myself to half a dozen. 200 on the board. They're starting to make a move. Seeing that Bangladesh are tiring. Seeing that the pressure is getting to them. They have identified that it's a moment to really drive it home. And not allow them to pick them back. Just the Mike. Use are now once again. This is a repetition of the previous shot. Oh, fantastic stuff. The lead up to 300. Now, what does Shanto do? Sri Lanka's captain is bossing the situation. Made a decision that he's going to put Medias and Miraj under pressure with. The seamers, they have had their share of workload for the moment.
two runs from the over Sri Lanka, 210 for six. Ah, oh, was there any bat on that one? No, I don't think so. Yeah, just going back to the surfaces. Batting won't be easy for Bangladesh. Coming in to chase the target in the fourth innings of the test match. So far, apart from the first ball that he bowled today, we haven't seen much of a turn or bounce. It goes without saying. It is the longest format of the, uh, the game. What a lovely shot. He's been exquisite uh, through the offside. <laughs> lovely use of the feet. <laughs> and it goes to the boundary. And you've got to be spot on in terms of uh, which one's to go. Have a look at that one. Going to the pitch of the delivery, just uh, making sure he gets it passed to the right side of that fielder in the covers. He knew it, the boundary was the written. Swept away by Kamindu Mendes, played that fine. Naidrana does well. The big man, the dive in, probably saved a run for Bangladesh. And with that, seven times. Kumar Sangakara and Arvinda De Silva has done it twice. And would you believe it, Kumar Sangakara. Again, a short delivery. Only be a single and uh, Kamindo Mendes closing on, on another 50. More recently, the test match against Afghanistan in Mirpur in 2023, when he went out to pick centuries in each innings of a test match. So the, these are the two batters. Joy! Yeah, with that single, he moves on to 49. Yeah, missing out the experience of Mushfiqur Rahim and Shakib Al Hassan. So three batters will need to put their hand up. Nazmul and Shanto. Yet, hopefully, no. I think they'll get one more over after this one. A quick one from Mediastan Miraj, though. He rushes through his over. <laughs> Nicely stopped at Gully. But yeah, these are the little adjustments. The Bangladeshi batters can have a look at it. The way Dhananjaya bats, the way he adapts and adjusts to the crease as well. Standing in front at times, batting deep as well. He's one step. Played that really late. Almost at the very last moment, he decided to get the bat on that one. In the air, but away from that fielder in the gully area. Right, one more delivery to be bowled uh, in the sova, and it will be lunch. Coming to on 49, he reaches to his 50. What a knock is played yet again. Under pressure, making huge impact. Building up the partnership with his skipper. Played a very good role, a handy role alongside captain Dhananjay De Silva. For Dambula versus Kandy and 115 in the second game. Six Sri Lanka lead by 300 and... Yeah, it's been frustrating from Bangladesh's point. And the day began. It's been all Sri Lanka. The first session of the third day. They are dominating and stretching the lead. They now lead by 325 runs. With this wonderful partnership, coming to Mendes. Well, they've got to tell themselves, look, we are in a spot of bother. But that's what you want to do. Accuracy is going to be the main weapon. Not much batsman around the world has it, but coming to Mendes, but he has in his armory that extra cover drive. Right throughout this test match, he's been peppering that area for fun. Oh, he has indeed. This elegance personified every time a left-handed batter Drives the ball through the covers, so pleasing to the eye. Look at him, effortless, has the high elbow and the lovely follow through. Oh, delectable shot. He's played that often so far in this innings. Remembering the 
great Kumar Sangakkar with that throw. What a shot. Leading the ground. Again, this time, and bisecting that gap, this time to the uh, square of the wicket. Full width, and Kamindu Mendes gives the treatment. Driving it square of the wicket, just pitching it a little further up. Was Nahid Rana in the process, he just opened the face. And he has an absolute control of that shot. Really enjoying the batting in the middle. And so wonderful balance when he makes contact with the ball. Absolutely a treat to watch. So, so easy to get behind that. Drives a square. And the ball is going to evade the fielder and go to the boundary. I played on the up. Rising with the bounce. Coming to Mendes. Very safe shot. Again on the shorter side by Nehdi. Part Nahid Rana. Beautifully played all around the ground. This is classic, very classy coming to Mendes. All around the ground. But Media San had uh, the catching area, short cow point, had no chance. Slightly short, probably about six inches for my liking. A lot of time. Steady himself. Swivels round. It's a little part of the bat, maybe a little bit of glove. All despite that. Trickles, nothing, nothing at all. And going deep, try to play that late. Yeah, just trying to push that ball into gaps. That's what he's doing. The field has been spread. Whoops. Whoops, I'd like to have a look at that again. That looked like it came off the face of the bat. Yeah, they're definitely gloving that and a definite deviation. Litton Das, he's taught. Yeah, this time he can take the single and celebrate his 12th Test 100. His second in this Test match and the sixth batter to score two hundreds in a Test match for Sri Lanka. Outstanding. Outstanding it was, brilliant on every count. Handling the pressure, two tons. Comes down the track, full face of the bat. Fielder inside the circle. Will only watch it go past the fence. And with that boundary, the partnership also goes past 150. So good, so good coming to Mendes. What a player. Controlled hit. Green the deep on the leg side, so there's a long on. So he goes against the turn. He picks his moment to jump at Taiju. Onto the pads in the air should be taken. Oh, he drops it. The new, the second new ball nearly worked in the Bangladesh's favour. The young man on debut, Naid Rana, makes a Mockery of it. It's an easy catch, trying to go over the top. It was a good delivery by Shariful Islam. Good length. At this level, young man, that has to be taken with ease. All honesty, swinging back into these pads, nicely clipped away. And Dananja De Silva ends the 81st over with a boundary. Nicely played. 81 done. Uh, poor delivery. Wayward delivery goes. Uh for buys for four. I just don't understand the thought process of Khaled Ahmed. The previous delivery was a good delivery, coming on the wicket, right on the money, right in the channel, corridor of uncertainty, nice movement of, away from the left-hander. And all of a sudden, the next delivery, coming round the wicket and spraying it down the leg side. Desperation, yes. I think sometimes in test cricket, when the things get hard, nothing is going your way, you just keep things safe. That's gone through. And it'll be a boundary. Not much of a gap between second slip and uh, probably fourth slip. And it went right in between them around the third slip. That's the luck as a batsman you need in these kind of surface. Soft hands all around the ground. Didn't do anything wrong there coming the minute. Just played the line. Just a good delivery. Bisected that gap perfectly. Yeah, nothing wrong with Take it. Works for uh, 
Nazmul Zain Shanta, he cannot believe his luck. It was a long off, and he could have hit it any way he wanted to. What he does, hit it straight to the fielder at mid-wicket. He cannot believe because it was a long hop. He could have put it anywhere he likes. Short mid-wicket was weak and he was in for saving the single. And Dhananjad De Silva, the only thing he did as a mistake, and loses his wicket and he cannot believe. Oh, Dhananjad. Some other day, he would have gone over the boundary rope for a maximum. Not today. Nevertheless, a brilliant knock, a responsible knock by the skipper. Gone for 108. Two. Comes down the track and through extra cover. Two fielders after it and beats both of them. I think it's a boundary. The foot definitely touched. I'm pretty sure the third umpire will come into play. Yeah, Mahmoud Hassan Joy is the fielder and it's been already signaled a four. He's been outstanding. Especially when he plays that uh, cover drive again, down to going down, good use of the feet and a nice flurry, really good flourish for the bat to go. Which is quite a long distance away. This could be tight. Litton Das thinks he has that man, but those square of the wicket. Next space is nicely behind that, drives a square and races away to the boundary. Wow, what a shot that is. Closing in on that 100 mark. Lead goes past that 400 mark. With an offer, he throws his hands at it. Coming to Mendes into the 90s. He will quietly change gears because Prabhat Jaya Surya. Then you got Lairu Kumara and. Kasun Rajita to come. So he looked to score. Oh, good hit. Prabhat Jaya Surya this time batting like Jaya Surya. Well, he's decided he's going to take on Taijul. He's in the slot. He just uh, shimmy down the wicket. That was a terrific shot. Look at him. Getting to the pitch, full flourish of the bat. One direction, the boundary. And he's been greeted with the boundary. Maybe Asan Miraj was operating from this end. He's watchful against, but tight. Dharamsala. Oh, and that's uh, wide and four. Yeah, he dug that in. It went over the mountains of Dharamsala. Litton Das had no chance at all. Now the lead 414, so it's gone past the highest score Bangladesh have achieved uh, in their fourth innings. Or you, I'll give you a hint. You keep talking about England, the weather. You feel like you're in England. Russell, that is a beautiful shot. That is absolutely top class. And he gets closer. 98, and he goes through. We are all raising away. He's still on 98. <laughs> But I think he was expecting that that short one and uh, Rana was going to adjust. He's played that drive to perfection on many occasions. That first innings, the second innings. Plays it with so much authority. A shot away, two away. Going to be runs, but not from the bat. He has to wait for his century. The total goes up to 331 for seven. Wide signal this time, it was so far away. Litton Das <laughs> didn't want anything to do with it. Well, buys he's been credited with. And that's for the second time this over that Rana's totally lost it. A bit like me, I guess. <laughs> And gives him a full toss to put away with utmost ease. And he ambles a single and he gets to his on red. This has been a top class innings. He can take a bow. He is delighted, his fans. It's been a fantastic innings to watch. 150, 200, and he's only.
batted three times in test cricket. Under pressure, that's what you stand up for. These are the runs you want to make. Got that away, no one in the deep. Short from Shanto. Runs continue to flow. In a very easy manner. See the demeanor, the body language of the Bangladeshis out there just waiting for the misery to end. So they have been really struggling all the way through. Absolute domination by the Sri Lankan batters. Yeah, it's been a special, a tremendous special. 338 for seven. And that will be T. Gaffney takes the bales off. The players will wander off. The Sri Lankans will celebrate in a strong, strong position. This session, 31 overs. They've only lost the wicket of the captain, but they've added 105 runs. And for Sri Lanka, here at Sillet, have a look at the batting card. Didn't start off too well. Lost wickets at regular intervals. But then... And Prabhatja Surya. It's been a struggle for the bowlers. Wicket each for Shorifal Khalid. That's how it stands at the moment. 280 posted by Sri Lanka. Oh, Going to take a short break. Come back and join us. Needing 511 runs to win for Bangladesh when they come out to bat. They will be tested for temperament. The Bangladeshis and their mental resilience also have to they'll be tested with their skill sets with unharm and try and go, go and get a big one this hasan joy's record average of 28 that will improve his sterling zakir hassan playing his 12th innings average slightly better than joy at 33 Sri lanka opening the bowling with vishya fernando leader of the pack playing his 22nd test match and a final leg down the leg side Yes, to drift it down. Oh, that's close, and that's been given. Straight away, that looked pretty straight. And he looks up inquiringly at his partner. Are they going to take a review? Richard, it is. Pitching in line, impact in line, and hitting the wickets, three reds. You'll be staying with your original decision of out. I'll let you know when you're on screen. You're on screen now, signal now. And the correct decision taken. Bangladesh lose their first early in the innings. Mahmoud Hassan joint, caught, plumb in front. Doesn't bother the scorers, zero for one. That's nicely played. It was full, presenting the full face of the bat from the skipper, and he should pick up a boundary. He does. Nice looking stroke uh, to finish the over. Four for one. Poor shot gone. Look how wide that is. That is a poor, poor shot from the skipper. Really went after it. And it's a good catch in the slips. Yeah, playing the drive just gave me the impression. You are playing into the bowler's hands. It's a new ball, it's a hard ball, it bounces. I did mention Dananjir De Silva should stick with it. He does. What an outstanding catch, though. It's not an easy height to pick that up. Get them driving, get them driving. You give yourself a big chance of a wicket. It's Najmal Hossein Shanto gone for six. It's shot. Shot of the inning so far from the bat of Zakir Hassan. It was full and he's driven it onto the offside and picks up his first boundary. Lovely touch from Zakir. Controlled. Ooh. Very full. He just leans into it oh. and uh, maintains his balance and composure. Mid on comes across. They've got two fielders there to. Top shot, top shot, that was with. He rides the bounce. Now those are options. Really, really good from Hassan. Yeah, enough time on the back foot. And he cuts it away. No fielder in the third area. Look how wide that is again. 
but in control. They pick again down the leg side. That's a poor delivery. I'll go to the boundary. I'll buys. The first three deliveries have been off target. Not losing anymore. But the attitude of the batters still going after the bowlers and looking for the runs. Welcome, Farbiz Maruf. Hello, Waza. A loose the from Lairu Kumar, bottom edge. Was Bazak Rasan? Beg your pardon. The signal buys by the umpire. Edged and gone. This is what I was talking about. Trying to play too many strokes and paying the price. Zakir Hassan departs. Lahiru Kumara strikes. A top notch by Lahiru Kumara. Just on the money. He had to play at it. Maybe could have left outside the off stump. But the angle which is created coming around the wicket, you're not sure whether the ball is coming back in or going away. Full marks to Lahiru Kumara. Get rid of Zaki Rasan. He's been having a fantastic test match. Caught behind of Murukumara. 36 for 3. He's leader of the pack. You said it by example. This is a good delivery. Wish of Fernando going across. Shahada Dosain nicks it. And Kosal Mendes takes another good catch. Things going bad to worse for Bangladesh. <laughs> Horrible for Bangladesh at the moment. They're 37 for 4. And Shada Hussain Deepu. Edge one to wicket keeper Kusal Mendes, who takes a good catch in the end, diving towards his right. Bangladesh are in all sorts of problems. <laughs> he departs without troubling the score. Bangladesh 37 for four. Whoa. <laughs> he just came to the crease, came down the track and just throw away his wicket. This is horrific. It's a total brain fake from Liton Dash. I've lost the words. 20 minutes to go to end of play. Kept the entire day. Golden opportunity, stamp your authority. And the first ball... Unimaginable. No words to describe that shot and a good catch. By Angelo Matthews. Oh, Liton Kumar does. What have you done? <laughs> yep. Looks like it's uh, brought the curtains down for this series. 37 for 5. A boundary after 25 deliveries. That will ease the nerve for Bangladesh. That's good batting. Ball was in the arc. Yes, it was not convincing. Going behind square. But the movement is good by Mumunil Haq. Trying to get to the pitch of the ball. Lairu Kumar, on the other hand, doing the right thing, pitching it up. Trying to negate any movement available. All on the ground. Valiant attempt by Nishan Maduskat Gali. Like this. Taijul finds the gap for a boundary to finish the day's play. He will take a huge sigh of relief. Not him. Avish. Fernando on the Bangladesh and Bangladesh came into bat, had to score 511, had to survive picking up one and Kumara picking up one. And they come out to bat in the fourth days. It's just the three bowlers used all the three quicks among the wickets. Pisha Fernando, three, Rajita Fernando, a bigger part, Rajita. The name of the game will be to survive. They're 47 for five. They for more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T-Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.